Hello, welcome to this brief information session on uh, the master's program in electronics at the University of Oulu. My name is Ranjula and I will be the host for this discussion. So before we begin everything, uh, let's start with uh, brief introductions. So hello, my name is Rakshita Desai. I am from Goa, which is a very beautiful state in India. And I am doing my second year in electronics, which is a ma in master's degree. And um, uh, I'm also working as a part-time as a design engineer trainee in one of the companies. And along with that, I'm doing my master's thesis currently in the microelectronics research unit. Hi, my name is Jari Hannu. I'm the, uh, as a university lecturer uh, at here, the degree program of electronics and communication engineer, engineering. I'm also the director of the degree program, so I'm handling the bureaucracy and that kind of stuff quite a lot in here. Yeah. Uh, thank you, both of you, and uh, thank you for both of you to, uh, for being here today. And uh, Rakshita, uh, could you share about uh, how you learned about the university and also about the uh, electronics degree program at yeah. the University of Hall? So I have a very quite uh, like interesting story. I wanted to study in this Nordic country since sixth grade actually. So as I grew up, I forgot about the dream. And then this COVID happened and it gave me some time to retrospect. And then after actually, after my bachelor's degree, I was working for almost four years. And um, during COVID, I was like, what I'm doing, I should change my career or do something with uh, like study more or something like that. So what I did was I just opened Google and uh, searched for uh, the best universities in the world. And uh, there were like two websites I looked into. One was Shanghai ranking and another was QS ranking. And in that um, I found this uh, University of Olu uh in uh, like very top 100 uh, universities and also uh, i even looked for the subject i wanted to do my master's degree that was electronics and then i went to uh, the main website of the university and also uh, the instagram pages and contacted the alumni students as well and that is how i learned about it and okay. applied that's really great that's yeah. very interesting as well so uh next uh, can you tell me what are the uh, what were the main requirements in your degree program and uh, uh, like what were the main requirements in your application process? Yes, so uh, the main uh, thing was I guess uh, one CV then uh, that it was um, uh, the um, motivation letter then the research interest uh, document for like what are you interested in uh, you can write about it in some brief hundred words or something like that. And uh, English language requirement was there. So, and my degree certificates and transcripts, these are the main things. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. And Yari, uh, uh, can you tell me something about uh, what the faculty is looking for in this master's program and uh, uh, what could contribute to a strong application? So, of course, we're looking for students who have the right background when they're applying here. So, mainly in electronics, we continue the education from the bachelor's degree. So, students from electrical engineering, electronics, telecommunication, those are the fields which we try to get students into our program and being quite good, good in there. So, that, that's the main, main, of course. And then, of course, the other one is the language requirements. So what uh, does the student have enough uh, good like English uh, language so when they come here they can uh, learn uh, as good as possible because the teaching is going to be in English mainly uh, in that way. Okay, that's great. Thank you. And Yari, uh, oh, what is the program structure for this uh, master's course in uh, electronics? So the program structure is that we have the basic module uh, in the uh, pro uh, program and we have two, three of those. We have electronics design, uh, photonics and measurement techniques and electronics components and materials. So 
three different kind of focusings in there. And all of those programs have different kind of advanced modules where you can choose the courses uh, which are supporting your uh, like career kind of uh, and, and your research interests or study interests in there. And then, of course, you have some optional studies here, so you can take some extra courses from different degree programs which are offered in English at a, a university or a faculty. And then, of course, in the end, we have to have a uh, mandatory uh, internship uh, at companies or at the uh, academy. And then, of course, the master's degree, which takes about one quarter of the degree program study. So it can, it can start already in the second year of the studies. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Uh, in this master's program, there are like uh, are different study options uh, that you uh, already mentioned briefly. And uh, uh, students can uh, uh, choose to uh, like uh, shape their study path and also uh, according to their own interest. Uh, could you mention the value of this uh, part of the electronics program? So what kind of uh, uh, study areas that they can uh, choose and uh, uh, like choose to uh, 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 for, their, for their careers? So yeah, so the three paths which we have. So they are all of those study paths are based on our research. So the research is the, uh, we teach what we research, although it's based on that. Uh, so electronics design is maybe the most industrial one which we have in here. So we have a lot of uh, uh, ASIC design kind of work, uh, digital design. Uh, so when you do uh, integrated circuits, that kind of things in there. And also, uh, device designing and what you need in there. The measurement technology again takes another kind of view on electronics. So for example, how you can use electronics for measurements and, and, and how you can also do like, for example, testing technologies when you go to the industry. And the third one, the electronics components and materials side is then focusing mainly on manufacturing of the electronics and what kind of material choices do you have when you're implementing, for example, uh, antennas, filters, or passive components even. Okay, that's really interesting. Uh, and Rakshita, uh, I think you were able to secure an internship position uh, outside the university. Could you talk about the, uh, how the things you learned during this uh, first year of studies in, the, in this uh, electronics program and uh, how it helped you to succeed uh, in this internship? Yes, uh, so uh, what I did was when I came here, I tried to complete as much credits as possible. So by the end of uh, my first year, I completed almost 87 credits and uh, the three credits were the advanced practical training which was there. So for that, I was uh, applying in different uh, industries uh, through LinkedIn actually. And then there was uh, one day, Pesti Paiwa in January as well. I tried to search companies uh, during that time because it was mentioned in one of the websites. And then I applied there as well. And um, the courses uh, which actually helped me was, there was one course called Measurement Systems, which uh, provided in-depth knowledge about LabVIEW and uh, Data Acquisition Unit. Uh, how to work with LabVIEW in that and uh, the industry which I was uh, like the company which uh, which was looking for the skills uh, were this LabVIEW and um, maybe test end and all these things and uh, this helped me a lot these courses and there I applied and I got in the uh, got in in the form. Okay that's really great. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Yari uh, could you uh, uh, talk about how this master's program will uh, help the students to uh, 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 lead the students for uh, work life, uh, even in uh, maybe in academia or in industry. How this will help? Uh, well, it eases quite a lot. So as you can see, we had a good example here. So Rakshita has been working in the industry and also in the academia. So the theoretical background creates really good. So you get the, if you are, doing your studies well, you can also have the possibility to continue your studies as a doctoral student and again gain knowledge for us as a researcher here at the University of Academia. So we have that background there also. But the industry is also looking for new talents all the time 
and there's a big need for electrical engineers, electronics engineers, digital designers, analog designers, name what you want. So there's a big need. So we try to prepare our students for those uh, industry needs and we also do cooperation quite a lot with the companies all the time. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, we have now come to the end of this session. So thank you for both. Uh, thank you both for being here today. And uh, and for the applicants, uh, please be aware that the applications uh, for this master's program uh, in electronics uh, will both open and end uh, in January. And applicants uh, uh, should uh, uh, watch their emails for further communication about interviews, ap uh, acceptance, and also uh, in uh, enrollment process. So that's all for today. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.